Today we're going to be looking at one of the best knots that I didn't know until recently. And by recently, I mean within the last year or so. So on the left, I have the clove hitch, which a lot of people are really familiar with. It's one of the essential knots that people learn pretty early on. Uh, on the right, though, is the one we're going to be looking at, which is an adapt adaptation to the clove hitch, which makes it much, much, much stronger. So the problem with the clove hitch is that it is notoriously unreliable. If you have variant load on a clove hitch, wherein you're moving back and forth, you can see I've never touched the knot itself, and I can wiggle that clove hitch free. That is why I do not tie the clove hitch very often, and unless it's in a non-critical application. Well, the snuggle hitch is tied very similarly to what the clove hitch is with an extra turn, and then it's the way it's trapped. So let me show you how this one is tied. So what we want to do, let me get this all undone first. So we're going to start by going over our rail, and what we're going to do is going to tie a loose clove hitch. So we're going to cross over, go around the rail again, then we're going to come out the top. Now we don't want to tighten this yet. We want to leave it loose. Now what we want to do is we want to take another wrap around our, our rail here and come out on the back side. Then we're going to lift on the, on the first wrap and we're just going to tuck this underneath. And then you can dress the knot, secure it or snuggle it, I suppose, would be a better terminology for this one. And when this one sets, it is incredibly reliable. Now this takes, uh, one of the characteristics that I love for one of my other favorite hitches, which is a spar hitch, and I'll tie that one real quick, is that the beauty of the spar hitch is that it is trapped underneath the first wrap as well. And so anytime that you get pressure or get load onto your standing end of your rope, you're trapping the working end of the rope and thereby just making the, night, the knot more and more secure the tighter the load gets and it won't shift off. And the snuggle hitch is just basically takes the, the best characteristics of the spar hitch and incorporates them into an adapted clove hitch, which is a fantastic, fantastic knot. So this is the snuggle hitch. And as a little bonus, that's the spar hitch.